last of them. Yeah. Uh, I guess that about covers it, Mr. Grove. This says that I received payment in full, and you now own 500 of the finest cattle that ever ate grass. Your word's better than any paper I ever read, Hoppy. Thank you, sir. Hope you're not in too big a hurry to pull out of town. I thought we might have a bite to eat together and talk over old times. Oh, I'd like to very much, but it's getting a little late in the day, and I kind of like to get the trail before the town lights up brighter than the moon. I say, that's what my wife tells me. And somehow I don't seem to get a kick out of the moon since I married her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodbye, sir. Well, so long, Mr. Cassidy. Well, if that ain't just like an old cowhand. Been three months since you come to town, and now you're going to try to have fun enough to remember for three more months, huh? Not me. I'm holding on to my money. Anyway, I haven't got a gal, and I don't gamble, so what could I spend it on? <laughs> well, maybe your partner over there could tell you. By the look on his face, he's sure dreaming up something. You're right. And I've got a hunch there's nothing that's good for him. <laughs> well, so long, Lucky. So long, Mr. Grove. What are you doing, California? Don't take no lawyer to answer to that one. I'm accounting out what I earned and what I'm going to spend. Uh-huh. On what? Oh, a set of silver spurs, some flannel underwear, a box of dominoes, and maybe I'll see the doc about my bunion and uh, play a little faro and have a little drink. Now, California, that's going to cause you nothing but trouble. Oh, no, it ain't. The gambling's for profits, and the drinking, uh, that's for medicine purposes. <coughs> I get a gullet as dry as a riverbed in August. Oh. Hoppy's gonna be as hot as that same day in August if you No, go and... no, son. I was in my first bottle the same time as you was. Only yours had a nipple on it. I can take care of myself. Don't wait up for me. Might be quite a spell. You ready, Lucky? Hoppy, I'm kind of worried. All right, let it out. What have you done now? Oh, it's not me. It's it's California I'm worried about. California? What's the matter with him? Well, I, I don't like to carry tales, but he says he's gonna do a little gambling and drinking. <laughs> he's been saying that for years, but he's never done it. He'll be around when we want him. Well, maybe so, but there's a first time for everything, and right now he's on his way downtown. He is, huh? Well, maybe we'd better see what our friend's up to. class will bring in a history of the Lewis Clark expedition in the morning. The lower class will do the multiplication table up to the number six. School dismissed. Good night, children. Well, you're wrong. California must have crawled off someplace to take a nap. There's still another place down the street. Well, take a look. You think that could be California? 
hard to tell. He once said if he ever got started, he'd be a rootin' tootin' pair. Let's find out. Somebody sure fixed this place up. Hoppy! Lucky! Name your own poison and join your old pal, California. <laughs> How much have you had to drink? Oh, three, four bottles, maybe? <laughs> Can't drink too much of this stuff. Bubbles get up your nose and tickle. <laughs> Bubbles? What are you what are you drinking? Sarsaparilla. <laughs> <laughs> what well, the tell you? He's all right. Oh, no, I ain't happy. I came in here to get some of the real stuff, but I guess kind of lost my nerve. Yeah. But someday I'm going to taste it. And when I do, I'm going to be a rip snow. Oh, no. what happened? Uh, we thought you were mixed up in all this. Oh, there? I don't know what happened. I was standing here drinking my sarsaparilla when all of a sudden things started busting wide open. And everybody ducked. Everybody except me. I'm used to bar fights. I ain't afraid of nothing. Besides, I just paid for my sarsaparilla, and there ain't no critter gonna stop me from drinking it. <laughs> ain't long for this world. It's all sticky. It's a leaking. Is it blood, Hoppy? No, it's applesauce. Applesauce? You ain't insinuating in my head. What's happened here? Well, come on, speak up. Uh, I, I don't know, Mr. Mawson. I was standing here running the game, and all of a sudden we were attacked. Attacked? Yes, sir. I leave the place for half an hour, and look what happens. Somebody's trying to ruin my opening night. Well, who did it? Say something. Well, we don't know, boss. But if I were you, I'd ask Dink Davis about it. Davis? I told you I heard him say last night this town wasn't big enough to hold both of you. Well, we'll see about that. Hey, what's going on here, Marshal? Hello, Sheriff. Well, as usual, you're a little late. Yeah, well, I had to stop and lock up the jail. Why? There's nothing in it but mice. Hey, now, don't you be flip. I'm the sheriff around here, and I want to know what goes on. So do I. And I'm not waiting for you to find out. Come on, get moving. Clean this place up. We're still in business and we're going to stay there. Come on. Oh, he sure is mad. If you owned this place, wouldn't you be sore too? That man that was talking about seems I've heard his name before. What was it? Dink Davis? Yeah, that's right. I know him by sight. He owns the other saloon down the street, the Big Dome. I know this is none of our business, but there's going to be trouble. And usually where there's trouble, somebody gets hurt. You got any ideas, Hoppy? Maybe. I'll let you know when I get back. I'm going to have a talk with somebody. You two wait here. There's sure a lot of temptation around here. Yeah, there sure is. Uh, hey, hey, uh, Mr. Uh, what's in that there bottle? Well, that's red eye, brother. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, what's in the green one? Well, that's bourbon. Got a kick like 20 mules. You don't say, huh? Well, <laughs> well, I think I'll just have a... California. Another uh, sarsaparilla.
well? How do you do, Miss Abbott? My name is Hopalong Cassidy. Well, I can't do anything about that. Why don't you have it changed? Well, the Hopalong's a nickname. My real name is Bill. William would be the proper pronunciation for that. Now, just how did you happen to know my name? I don't think I've seen you here before. No, you haven't. But I've seen you. Well, what is it you want? I'd like the answer to a very puzzling question. Hmm. It's a pleasant surprise to meet a man in this town who wants to learn anything other than how to play poker. <laughs> what is your question? Just why do you throw apples and break windows? That is my business, young man. <clears throat> it certainly is, but it might be bad business if you keep it up. There's nothing further to discuss. Good day. Well, I just thought maybe I could help in some way. See, tempers are running pretty high over at the saloon, and I don't think Mawson's a man to fool with. Did Mawson send you here? Oh, no, of course not. He thinks Dink Davis did the damage. As a matter of fact, I guess I'm the only one who did see you. Oh, and it doesn't mean a thing. I failed. Oh, I don't quite understand. I'm no reformer, Mr. Cassidy, but it's my responsibility to run this school. And I can't do it with a saloon and a gambling hall in the front yard. Well, why didn't somebody do something about that? Mawson lied to the town council. Said he was going to build a general store. Then when it turned out to be a saloon, nobody would do anything about it because they're all afraid of him. I see. That is, uh, everyone except you. I talked to Mawson a dozen times, but he just turned a deaf ear. Said he had as much right to make a living as the children did to get an education. Hmm. I warned him I'd do something. He just laughed me out of the place. Well, I did it. And I intend to keep on doing it until he closes up. Someone will have to say it first. I guess I will. Hello. Hello. Who's a young lady? Friend of yours? Certainly I'm a friend of his, Grandpa. <laughs> Grandpa? Say, how about a smile and a drink? Neither one of them costs very much. Sure. Two more sarsaparillas. <laughs> What's your name? Lucky Jenkins, miss. What's yours? Lola Blair. Say, how about a few hands at the table? With your good looks, you should be lucky at gambling, too. Well, maybe... Hey, wait a minute. Where do you think you're going? None of your business. None of my business, eh? All right, you gamble, I drink. I'll do what I wanted to. Get me some chips. Get me some red eye. Hey, what's the matter with you two? Come on, give me the money. Sorry, I've changed my mind. Make it sarsaparilla. Well, I certainly admire your spirit, but don't you think it's a pretty tough job for a woman to handle alone? William, I've faith in what I'm doing. Do you mind if I speak to Mawson? Of course, it may not do any good, but sometimes a man can be a little more convincing than a woman. You mean that you're a better shot than I am with an apple? <laughs> not exactly with an apple. Now, whoever could be doing that? Just goes to show you how much trouble can be started by an apple. Uh. Won't be nothing left of this town if they don't stop breaking it up. I wish Hoppy get back. I ain't talking to you. But I wish you would. I've been here so long I'm getting a hangover. Well, that about evens things up. That's one way of making Dick Davis see the light and feel the fresh air. Things, you must have done a pretty good job. He breaks two of our windows, we break all of his. That's a fair exchange. <laughs> Set him up, Mike. Too bad you wasn't there for all the fun, boss. Yes, I'd like to see his face when he finds his place all messed up. <laughs> I think you know I said this town wasn't big enough to hold both of us, Mawson. Sorry to see you leave, Davis. I always kind of like competition, even the cheap kind. It won't be cheap when you get through paying for it. What's the idea of breaking up my saloon? You broke up mine, didn't you? You're crazy. I've never been inside this joint. That's a lie. Take that back, Mawson, or I'll... Take it easy, gentlemen. 
I don't like to interfere, but one of you's liable to get hurt, and that might not be necessary. Who are, Who are you? you? I'm Hopalong Cassidy. I'd like to have a talk with you two before you try to kill each other. I can handle my business without your help. I've got guns to prove it. Maybe so, but here's two more that can make a mighty fine argument out of that. Thanks, boys. I don't get your angle, but you say you've got something on your mind? That's right. Now, if you call off your men, we'll talk it over. All right, boys. Go ahead. Let's have it. I take it you two don't care too much for each other, and there's been a little window breaking around here today. Sure, I broke up his place, but not till after he broke up mine. I told you before I didn't do it. He's telling the truth, Mawson. How do you know? Because I happen to know who did it. Who? Well, I can't very well mention the name. All I hope to do is maybe keep you two from killing each other for no good reason. Could it be your own name you wouldn't be mentioning? Yeah, who are you covering up for if it isn't yourself? I said I couldn't mention the person. Listen, mister, you've stuck your neck out and your mouth open. And now I'm going to know the reason. Well, what's the answer? Right here, Mr. Mawson. I thought William would come here to protect me, and that's just what I didn't want. William? Who's William? I guess she means Hoppy. But that ain't his right name. It's Bill. Now, look here, Miss Abbott. This ain't no time for you to come around here and do a lot of talking. I'm not going to do a lot of talking. My argument with you is past that stage. I broke your windows, Mr. Mawson, and I intend to keep on breaking them until you close this place up. Why, you... you old meddling... Just a minute, Mawson. She came here to tell you what I wouldn't. Now, hear what she has to say. There isn't much more. He knows very well that we can't run our school as long as this... this place casts a shadow over it. Maybe you'd like me to tear it down. I'd like nothing better. But I know you won't, so I've started doing it in my own way. That's why I wanted to be sure that you knew who broke your windows and why. You come around here again and do any damage and I'll... I'm not afraid of you, Mawson. And tomorrow I'll prove it by calling a mass meeting of the decent citizens of this town. Then we'll see whether it's the three R's that I teach or whether you've changed them to rye, rabble, and roulette. <laughs> I wouldn't have missed that for a $5 stack of chips. I'm not afraid of you, you big, bad saloon keeper. One more crack like that and I... You won't do anything except maybe a little homework on that lesson the school marm just gave you. Well, so long, Marson. <laughs> Come on, boy. Give me a drink. I'm sorry, Mawson. Davis did rub it in a little hard. But I think this whole thing can be ironed out. Miss Abbott means well. Miss Abbott means trouble. And that's what I'm going to see she gets. All right, suit yourself. Well, come on, boys. We might as well get out of here. I've always heard a nice red apple can do a heap of good with a school teacher. <laughs> Mike, you know, I think I've got to do something that I don't want to do. Kidnapping is against the law of the United States. And I intend to see that you are prosecuted to the fullest extent of that law. How dare you think you can come into my house and drag me off to these drafty mountains in the middle of the night? We ain't thinking about it. We did it. Hmm. Oh, yes. I'll box your ears the moment I get my hands free. Just the way I used to when you came to school and chewed tobacco. Did you go to school? He did. The only reason he ever got out, his legs were too long to go under the desk. Oh, you ought to be ashamed of yourselves. How do you ever expect to have a home and family and act the way you do? Just look at you. Unshaven, dirty clothes, probably dirty ears. 
and put that drink down. Before you know it, you'll be drunk. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I've gone outside. Me too. Wait for me. Oh, that's right, that's right. <laughs> Haven't even the courage to stay and listen to your own faults, have you? Sure could use some more sleep. You're always tired. I don't see why you bother getting up. I don't either. But the light of the sun opens my eyes. The smell of bacon opens my mouth. Before I know it, I'm having breakfast. The day started. <laughs> well, we're a long ways from the ranch. We've got a lot of work to do. Let's go. Oh, Mr. Cassidy. Yes? Hello. I'm Lola Blair. I work for Steve Moss, and I guess you know that. Lucky sure knows it. Keep quiet. <laughs> You seem to be concerned about Miss Abbott's welfare. That's right. Well, I'm afraid she's going to be in serious trouble. Well, what's happened now? Well, last night I overheard some of Moss's men talking to him, and they told him he ought to run her out of town. I thought you should know this and perhaps warn her. Well, thank you very much, Miss. So that's Miss Lola, huh? She's all right. She's all for us. Yeah, and you're all for Miss Lola. We'd better stop by the schoolhouse and see Miss Abbott. Has she ever been late before? Oh, no, sir. We get stood in the corner if we're late. But I guess maybe she won't do that to herself. Oh, I guess she wouldn't. Well, I'm sure she'll be back soon. In the meantime, you think you can get along all right without her? Yes, sir. Might be sick, Hoppy. I don't think Moss would have nerve enough to do anything to her. Can't tell with that kind of a critter. He might shoot his own mother if she was holding a full house against three of a kind. I think you're right, California. Moss does the dealing around here that looks like Miss Abbott drew the Joker. I'm going to find out where she lives and go to her house. Lucky, you go back up the main street and see if you can find anybody that's seen her this morning. Right, Hoppy. You go back to the gold mill and hang around the bar. You might learn something. Anyhow, we'll meet there later. That means more temptation. white stuff in that bottle. Gin. Gin? Oh, I heard it's mighty fine for the misery. Uh, that fancy bottle with a long neck. What's that get in it? That's called after a special friend of mine, name of Mickey Finn. Oh, sure, sure. Great stuff. Had lots of it in Albuquerque. I'll be glad to give you one on the house. Well, that's downright generous of you. There you are. <clears throat> Maybe I better have a Esperella. street to see her this morning. Say it happened. I can't understand, Mawson. He seems so calm and good natured this morning. That may be because he feels he got away with something. Here comes Hoppy. I better go before Mawson sees me talking to him. What'd you find out? Nothing. Except I'm getting mighty tired of this sarsaparilla. Nobody's seen Miss Abbott since yesterday. Well, I think I found out all that's necessary. Miss Abbott wasn't home, but she had been, and she'd had company. What do you mean? 
There were several chairs and a lamp overturned. She must have put up a terrific fight before they took her away. Ah, that lady couldn't fight a head cold. No, she's got a lot more courage than some men I know. And what you gonna do? I want to have a talk with Mawson. He won't admit anything. I know that. But I can at least accuse him and that'll start something. Right now, that's all I want. Let's have a talk with you, Mawson. So you're back again. No, go ahead. I'm listening. Miss Abbott isn't at school today. Well, now, what do you think of that? I'll tell you something. I didn't go to school today either. <laughs> <laughs> so I see. Maybe you did go to her house, say, uh, last night. What are you talking about? I'm talking about Miss Abbott. She's missing. What would that mean to me? It might mean a lot to you. Seems that you're the one that has the most reason to get rid of her. Are you insinuating that... I'm not insinuating anything. I'm asking a question. Where's Miss Abbott? I don't know where she is. But I know where I wish she was. And that goes for you, too. That bullet only burned your hand, Mawson, and I hope I never have to come any closer. In the meantime, I'm staying around town till somebody remembers where they misplaced that school teacher. Well, don't stand around there. Do something. Get a pan of water. Right, boss. That sure was fast shooting, Hoppy. Yeah, and fast talking, too. You know, Mawson had plenty of reason to be sore to me. Yeah, and your head would have been a lot sore if you hadn't naked him in time. What do we do? I'm going to school where I can learn a few things. To school? Well, if that ain't the darnest thing. We never heard of going to school to learn something. <laughs> Mawson, you can't say that I'm too late this time. Or what? Why, the shooting heard it all the way down the street. Well, it's over. Who done it? You're too late for that, too. I've forgotten. Oh. Forgotten? teacher won't be here today, but this school has to keep running for a lot of reasons. I had a little concentrating to do myself, and I couldn't think of a better place to do it than in a schoolroom. Now, uh, suppose I assign you some lessons, and we'll all settle down to some nice, quiet work. Ah, uh, let's see. You all have your history books, children? Yes, teacher. That's fine. Here we are, General Custer's last fight. Now, that only happened a few years ago, and it's all about the history of our West. Just a minute, young man. Suppose we read all about it, then we'll discuss it later. Can I get a drink? Oh, yes. Go right ahead. Mr. Teacher. Yes? Lady. I can't find anything about General Custer in this book. You can't, huh? Well, no wonder you have your book upside down. That doesn't make any difference. It doesn't? Why? Well, I can't read yet. <laughs> well, maybe I better find out what you want to be when you grow up. Well, 
How about you, Sonny? Young man, what do you want to be when you grow up? An uh, Indian. An Indian? Why? My pop says the country's in bad shape, so we should give it back to the Indians. That way I'd be getting some. <laughs> I don't know. If we keep on with what we're doing to it, the Indians won't want it back. <laughs> How about you? Me? I'm gonna run a saloon. A saloon? Sure, like my old man. What is your name? Dinky Davis. Only Ma calls me Stinky, so she can tell me from Pa. <laughs> I see. I've heard of your dad. What about you, son? I'm gonna be a bear hunter like my big brother. See? All I need now is a gun. <laughs> well, that's a great business, but I didn't know there were any bear around here. Sure. Way up in the hills, there's plenty. Just a week ago, I went with my brother, and he got two of them by the old Mawson cabin. You mean uh, Steve Mawson? Yeah, but it's just a shack. Don't reckon he uses it much. Oh, is it very far from here? No, but it's a hard ride way up to the end of Tuttle Creek. Oh, what direction is that? You know Dark Canyon? Yeah. Well, it ain't that. It's over there. Oh, trying to confuse me a little, huh? <laughs> Still don't see why you didn't let me stay at the Golden Mill. It ain't no place for a young man, especially with that Sirena Bololo hanging around. She's as harmless as that sarsaparilla you drink. And anyway, she doesn't give me hiccups. All right, I'll leave it up to Hoppy. I ain't acting nursemaid to you no more. As far as I'm concerned, you can marry Yukon Kate and be done with it. And you can drink whiskey that runs out your boot tops. What are you arguing about? Hoppy. I ain't taking any more. This here young colt. Don't listen to him, Hoppy. This old goat. Ah, oh, forget Go it, both of you. Lucky you come with me. California, go in and see if he can keep those kids in order. Me, a school teacher. Oh, now look here, Hoppy. We'll I... see you later. Now wait. Well, Nobody, and besides, uh, uh, well, that's enough of that there arithmetic. Now, what do we take up next, eh? <laughs> Who done that? Who done that? That's incorrect, teacher. It should be, who did that? All right, all right. Whoever done it, it's dead. Supposing we take up a little history, huh? Any questions? No. That's good. That takes care of history. Uh, suppose we do a little geographing. Yeah? Where's China? That's quite a ride from here. Oh, 
Say, I had a camp cook once who was a Chinese. Fine fellow. Knowed him for 20 years. Talked to me all the time. What did you say? I don't know. It was all Chinese to me. Chinese to me. Done nothing? No, nothing except hang around Moss until he told you to follow us up here. That's right, Hoppy. I remember seeing him there. Well? All right, Mawson did send me to follow you, but I'm only taking orders. Right now, you're going to take a nice long rest. Take him over there and finish tying him up. Get out there. You were sure right about Mawson. Well, in a way, yes. Come on, we better get out of here. This is only the beginning. Guards around? Well, there must be if they got Miss Abbott here. Let's put our horses over here. This darn hound would go and get a thorn in his paw. Now we're gonna have to take turns stand and watch tonight. Well, anything beats listening to that old hen cackle. Close the door before I catch my death of cold. Hello, Miss Abbott. Well, 
I had a feeling you'd come. Thanks. Now, will you please untie these ropes? I feel like a pullet trussed up for roasting. Not so loud there. Here you are. You all right? Oh, certainly. Those fools didn't hurt me. In fact, I drove them out of here early this morning. You drove them? How, Miss Abbott? With the one weapon a woman always has, talk. <laughs> Their ears were good and red when I got through with them. I wonder where they are now. Oh, one's asleep in front of the house. How many more were there? Two. Not counting a hound dog that has more intelligence than the three of them. Was Mawson with them when they kidnapped you? I don't know. I just turned the light out when they came in my house. I tried to get away, but they tied me up and blindfolded me. Well, we can talk about that later. Right now, we've got to get you out of here. There's a window in the back room. We can go out that way. I'll look out and see if everything's clear. Right. Well, that comes from the shark. He sure is not cold. Oh, that's nothing new for him. He was unconscious 15 years ago when he was a pupil of mine. Hoppy, two men are rushing the house. Come on, get in. Get down in the corner. Now they just grazed my shoulder, knocked me down. I don't know who's in there with her, but they ain't getting out now. I'm getting too old for this sort of thing. Oh. We'll need another horse when Hoppy gets here. Young man, if you're talking about one for me, forget it. I had all of that I wanted last night. From now on, I'll do my riding in a rocking chair. Sure, Miss Abbott. That rifle barrel sticking out the window. They must have got the fellow that was shooting it because it ain't doing any shooting now. There's no more firing. Let's move in. I am not getting up on that, or any other animal. Well, it's a long walk over this kind of country. I don't care. I could... Uh, how long? It's about six miles. Six miles? Mm -hmm. hmm. Well, no man ever defeated me. I don't know why a horse should. Now, you two turn your backs while I got a board. Yes, ma'am. Ready. 
it, William. Oh. Was there anything wrong? <laughs> no. But I'll certainly be glad to get back to that schoolroom. And I'll bet California will be glad to get out of it. Oh. You all right? Yes. Go ahead. The Indians crept through the brush as silently as the beast of the forest. Chief Rainwater was in the lead, and he carried his tomahawk ready to strike. Captain Strongheart knew he was trapped and out of ammunition, but he was determined to fight with the last strength of his hands. The hour had come. A red screen drew back his bow and poised the arrow. Zing went the arrow. Oh, oh, I'll challenge any one of you to step outside of <laughs> what I mean is, well, that is. Uh, what am I going to do with him, catch? William, this is no time to ask a lady such a question. I'm sorry. It won't be long now. We're not far from home. What do you intend to do when we get there? I'm going to head straight for Mawson's saloon. First, I'm going to stop at Martin's Grocery. Martin's Grocery? What for? Apples and liniment. All righty, Hoppy. Right. talking to that Cassidy fellow. Sure, they were just leaving town. But it wasn't Cassidy I wanted to talk to. It was Lucky, one of his boys. Why? I like him. Anything wrong with that? Maybe not. Where were they going? I don't know. Where are you so interested? I found out a few things about Cassidy today. He's well liked in his part of the country. He's also well liked here, particularly by Miss Abbott. Why, well, here has disappeared. Yeah, I heard about it. Hello, Lawson. What's on your mind? Oh, a couple of things. Mind if I sit down? Who's overlooking this? Red Lion plays on the black tent. Thanks, but I think I can play this game without your help. Maybe. But there's another game you might need my help in. What's that? Let's call it the Abbott game. People are beginning to talk. Get to the point. Everyone knows there's a feud on between you and the old girl. So when she disappears, what do you expect people to think? I don't know anything about it. No? Well, I do. I know where she is. Where? In your cabin, up in the mountains. You're out of your mind. No, I'm not. Sit down. I know what I'm talking about. I've got a proposition to offer you. Go on. Close up this place and leave town. If you don't, this town might get rough with you. I tell what I know. Davis, I ought to kill you for this. I wouldn't do that, Mawson. I thought we'd drop in for a few minutes. Miss Abbott was very anxious to see you, gentlemen. Well, what have you got to say for yourself? Now get this straight, Miss Abbott. I don't know what happened to you, and whatever it was, I had nothing to do with it. Then why was I taken to your cabin? I can't answer that. What's the use of lying, Mawson? How did she get up there if you didn't take her? I'd just been telling him I knew what he'd done. 
Maybe it's better you settle this whole thing instead of me. I intend to do that, Davis. Now, suppose you tell us how you knew where Miss Abbott was. Well, I knew there was bad feeling between them. I sympathize with the school, Marm. I'm a father. I don't like the idea of this place being practically on the school grounds, even though I run a saloon myself. One of my boys saw Mawson enter the Abbott woman's house last night. That's the last lie you'll ever tell. Wait a minute. Stop it, both of you. Well, well, I guess that ought to prove what I've been trying to tell you. I had him trailed up to his place, and I know the whole layout. I was trying to talk reason to him when you came in. Well, I guess I'm all through now. You certainly are, Davis. If you have to smoke cigars, you should be more careful where you throw the bands. What do you mean? I found one of those bands on Miss Abbott's living room floor this morning. A lot of folks smoke the same brand. Not around here, they don't. I found out you had those cigars sent to you from Waco. Davis, you abducted Miss Abbott. That's crazy. Why should I? Because you found a chance to make Mawson the goat. You figured everybody in town thought he was mad enough to do most anything to her. You also knew about that shack of his. It was a perfect setup to frame him, but it didn't work, Davis. All right. You were smart enough to find out about it. I'll see if you're smart enough to hold me here. First one that makes a move, or pulls a gun, who's gonna get it? Again, Sheriff. Oh, oh, no, I'm not. What do you mean? Well, you forget that I'm also the undertaker in this town. Mm -hmm. All right, boys. Thanks, Cassidy. I was in a pretty tough spot. You're still going to be in a tough spot if you don't make peace with Miss Abbott. Now, Miss Abbott, I don't want any more trouble, but I can't move this building and you can't move your school. Tell you what, I don't think Davis needs his saloon any longer. I'll buy it for you. It'll make a fine school. Well, that sounds oh. like a good deal, Miss Abbott. Yes, William. Your offer for the new Mawson Elementary School is accepted. And gratefully. <laughs> My goodness, those children. I forgot all about them. Happy! <laughs> Happy! What the Sam Hill's going on? All the children gone, John, and where am I? In school. No, Sheree, not me. I closed it up. You... you did what? Sure. I asked them kids when summer vacation started. They said in June. I said, oh, no, they was wrong. This year, we're starting four months earlier. Today. Front door key's under the steps. What? I never heard of such a thing. Well, if summer started early this year, so will winter. The vacation is over. Today. <laughs> well, we better get out of here before Miss Abbott decides you need some more schooling. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Mawson. So long, Cassidy, and thanks again. Right. Where's Lucky? I don't know. Lucky, I'm going to think of you a lot. Isn't there anything you'd like to give me before you go? Yeah. Another sarsaparilla for the lady. On me. Ready? Are we... <laughs> well, we've all had pretty close calls today. Personally, I'll be glad to get home. Me too. That goes for me. Sarsaparilla. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Another darn tag. Come on, oh, no, kid. 